coming off of some wonderful days with our family. We have a number of our children here tonight. Uh, wonderful days together. Um, which of us are without challenges and difficulties and sufferings? Which of us don't open the paper and watch the news and don't feel a heaviness seemingly more pervasive than it's been for those of us who are old guys than it's ever been. The sufferings of the present are as nothing compared with the glory to be revealed in us. You know, we know through COVID and everything else that's swirled around us, the importance of personal presence. And now more than ever, just to come together and certainly welcome far and wide but just to kind of connect and rejuvenate and revitalize and just to really know what we're about and encourage each other. Dr. Kenneth Calvert is a professor at Hillsdale College where he's taught history since 1996. He holds a bachelor's degree from Wheaton College, master's degrees in divinity and theology from Gordon-Conwell Theological Seminary and Harvard University, respectively. Think about our culture, you think about Western culture, Western civilization at this point, it's all about just feeling happy and comfortable, right? What do you mean there's only one way? We've got all kinds of gods, and all these gods are just as good as your Jesus. And this temptation for Christians to water things down, to make things nice, to make things palatable. You know, the serpent tells Adam and Eve that they will be like gods, right? But they're already like God. Like God, we can procreate. He has given us the gift of procreating, of creating young ones who are also made in the image of God. This is why in Scripture and in the church, you know, sexuality is so incredibly important because this is an expression of God's creation and creative ability through us in the most profound way. He says the only palliative is to keep the clean sea breeze of the centuries blowing through our minds, and this can be done only by reading old books. So this idea that Lewis has of this clean sea breeze blowing through our minds and helping us come to terms with what we're dealing with today is, is a very interesting and powerful idea, I think. For Christians, one of the best things we can do to experience this clean sea breeze is to listen to, read the ancient fathers. You know, whether it be Athanasius, whether it be Augustine, or whether it be Aquinas. Now, there's a humility that comes with most people like me. Who am I to sit down and read Augustine without any help, right? But to do it is a challenge, and to do it is beautiful. And to do it is to offer Augustine to be part of this clean sea breeze. Not only did he come, but he is with us literally in every mass. That incarnation is constant all right, and cannot be denied. Wherever two or more are gathered, what does it say? He is there. And is that just metaphorical? No, he really is there. He is here with us, all right? And if God is physically, really, actually with us, then we have to pay attention to that. We've got to pay attention to that, and we have to preach that, and we have to make sure that what Christ taught his disciples, brought to his disciples, has to be preached to the world in a way that is not embarrassed or apologetic, but confident and strong. You know, when I was the headmaster of Hillsdale Academy and I had somebody come in and say, oh, poor Susie has to work so hard, my answer is, poor Susie should be thankful for working hard and facing difficulties because she's going to need that courage. And if someday she's going to be a martyr for the faith, which might very well be, she's got to have courage. The next Belief and Beverage Night, by the way, just mark your calendar, third Thursday of every month. We want these to be an occasion of base camp, of dynamic orthodox base camp, where we come together and are forged more fully together for who we are in our mission in our marriages, family, and the world.